Hey, sweetheart. I, I didn't mean to wake you. It's still way early. Go back to sleep. Yeah, I'm coming to bed. Just gonna change clothes. Go back to sleep. It's nights like tonight that make me wonder what the hell I'm doing being a medic. I see things. Things that break my heart and rip my soul right out of me. I see how some people sink to the lowest levels of humanity. Hurting others like it's nothing. Inflicting pain and they don't even give a crap. Making choices that take other people's lives and then they try to claim that they are the victim. Sometimes it's it's just too much. Way too much. But right now, all I want to do is get into bed and shut my brain off. Hi. I thought I told you to go back to sleep, love. Why don't you ever listen to me, huh? I know. You're as stubborn as hell. But I still love you. Yeah. Rough night really doesn't even cut it. No, I really don't want to talk about it, baby. I know it's good to talk things out, but not tonight. I know you understand me better than anyone. A medic in love with another medic, but... Tonight was one of those nights that truly make me question whether or not I'm cut out for this. Maybe I should have just gone to nursing school or just have done something where I don't have my heart ripped out of my chest. Baby, when we met, I was so excited about helping people, saving them, being with them in their lowest moments and giving them hope. At least a little bit of hope. And now, I bring it all home with me. The ones I couldn't help, the ones I couldn't save, and it weighs so damn heavy on me. I can't seem to climb out of the pit at the end of the day. Tell you one story from tonight. Why? Sweetheart, don't. Please. I don't want to. It's enough that I lived it once. Don't make me do it again. Fine. But you have to hold me and give me back tickles while I talk. We got called to a car wreck tonight. I didn't think anything of it. Except it was going to be the typical bruises, lacerations, maybe some stitches, hurt neck, you know, the usual. But it wasn't that. A couple of kids were driving down a two-lane road. The driver was texting and left his lane. They hit another car head-on that was carrying a mother and a toddler. There were pieces of wreckage everywhere, baby. The teenager were driving this big-ass truck, and the mother was in this little bitty sedan. The first thing I heard when I got out of the bus was the baby screaming. I've never heard such a gut-wrenching sound in my life. I take off to the car that's upside down and find the mother already gone. 
and the little one is covered in glass and screaming and calling for her. Baby, I almost... I almost lost my composure right there. It took us ten minutes with the help of the firefighters to get the toddler out. And thank God it, it was nothing but cuts and scrapes but the two teenagers. Somehow the two damn teenagers who were headed home from a party walks away with nothing more than a fractured leg and collarbone and some lacerations. Both of them reeked of alcohol. I found myself wanting to walk over and deck both of them. That was the last call of the night. Before that was... Never mind. Never mind. I, I can't go into anything else. I just want to shut my brain off and wake up tomorrow on our mutual day off. I don't want to get out of my comfy clothes all day long. I want to eat things that are horrible for me and play kissy face with you all day long. That isn't too much to ask, is it? What do you mean? Maybe I should quit. Seriously? I know you see things from the outside. Tell me what you're seeing, then. I know I've lost weight. I do, too, still smile. I smile all the time. Not as much as I used to. I'm trying, baby. I really am. I love helping people. I was born to do it. I just don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do it. I guess it's affecting me more than I think. But let's say I quit. What will I do? We have bills to pay, living expenses. I can't leave all of that up to you. It's not fair, and it's not right. I know. I know it's your job to take care of me. But baby, that that's a lot of pressure on you. I, I don't want you resenting me. Because I really don't know what else I would do. We'll figure something out. Baby, I love you more than you could ever imagine. And I don't want to do this to you. I don't want to leave you alone in our finances for God knows how long. Yes, I will agree that my health is starting to suffer. I know, I know I'm not eating much or sleeping, but... Why do you do that, huh? When you want me to stop arguing with you, you just kiss me. Let's sleep on it, okay? Let me rest, and we'll talk about it when I get up, yeah? What do I need from you right now? I just need you to hold me tight. Be my safe place. Right here. Right now. Just take care of me. Thank you, sweetheart. Now, go back to sleep, and we'll see how things look in the light of day. 
I love you too. So, so very much. Good night, baby.